This portion of CardioSource video news coverage of AHA 2010 is brought to you by Novartis Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. For CardioSource video news, I'm Deepak Bhatt. I'm here at the American Heart Association meeting with Dr. Chris Cannon, who doesn't need any introduction, but is a cardiologist at Brigham Women's Hospital and at the Timmy Study Group, and is editor-in-chief of CardioSource Quality and Science. Uh, he's here today to talk about the DEFINE trial, which is a very interesting study that examined a novel compound and its effects on LDL and HDL cholesterol. Chris, could you briefly tell us what DEFINE was all about? Sure. Well, this studied a drug called the anisotropib, which is a cholesterol ester or cholesterol ester transfer protein. Um, Torcetropib was the first in this class, and they have big effects on raising HDL. But as we know, that had adverse effects with an increase in mortality and cardiovascular events. And blood pressure. And blood pressure and aldosterone and many uh, side effects that were seen in animals to be related to binding to a receptor in the adrenal gland. So that this new drug, anisotropib, was seen not to have those effects in animals, but we wanted to make sure that it would be safe in patients. So we did a moderate-sized safety study to look at uh, this drug. And what did you find? Well, looking first at the lipids, really profound effects with a 138% increase in HDL. So on average, patients had about an HDL of 40, and it went up to 101 <laughs> On average, so That's a lot of HDL, uh, you know, unprecedented levels, sure. and then the LDL also went down by an additional 40 percent. So these were patients with coronary disease, stable outpatients, all on a statin. The mean LDL was 80, and it went down to 45. Um, so really big, favorable effects, um, much bigger than we've seen with other agents. And incremental to statin therapy. How about adverse effects? effects on blood pressure, for example? Well, that was really the main focus, is to look at the safety. So we looked at the battery of things that had gone wrong with torcetropib of high blood pressure, aldosterone being elevated, or changes in electrolytes, potassium, whatnot. Saw none of that. So very carefully measured multiple times. So it looks like it really didn't have that effect. Mm -hmm. And then we did uh, an interesting Bayesian analysis on the clinical events to look at the safety and wanted to exclude the prior, this is what the Bayesian thinks, is of the 25% increase in events with torcetropib. And so we ended up with 94% confidence, or predictive probability apparently is the statistic, um, that anisotropib was not behaving like torcetropib. So highly effective on LDL and HDL, safe. What about clinical events? And I realized the study wasn't a large outcome study, it was a safety study, but can you say anything about signals as far as clinical events? Yeah, so the first again was seeing the, the, um, uh, the confidence that it's not harmful, but then you know all of the point estimates were favorable, so that endpoint was about 24% lower, not significant. We did see a two-thirds reduction in the need for revascularization. And again, these are stable outpatients, right. uh, highly significant. Uh, and then looking at the prove-it endpoint, um, that was about 38% uh, lower. So that is, for us, very encouraging yes. that the CETP-induced high cholesterol and, and the low LDL look like they're having favorable effects. Sounds very promising. So what's next? Well, uh, we now have to go on and do a big outcomes trial. And so uh, at this meeting, uh, Professor Rory Collins is announcing the start of the uh, 30,000 patient outcome trial, be the Heart Protection 3 TIMI 55 reveal trial. This will be a global study in patients with known disease on a background that will provide um, a torvastatin as the background statin therapy, get to goal, and then anisotropib um, or placebo, probably about a four-year follow-up so that we'll have a really large experience and know what the effects are on you know, hard endpoints. Well, that's terrific. Well, really interesting, late-breaking results from the DEFINE trial presented by Dr. Chris Cannon and a promise of more to come with a large outcome study. Thank you very much.
Special thanks to Novartis Pharmaceuticals Incorporated for supporting continuing coverage of CardioSource Video News at AHA 2010.